everyone, my name is Jackie. Welcome to Super Enthused. Today I'm at Jurassic Quest and I'm here to see dinosaurs. I don't know about you, but I feel like everybody likes dinosaurs. I've never met someone who was just like, eh, dinosaurs, eh. And your first dinosaur greets you right at the entrance. Everyone taking advantage of these first dinosaurs for a sweet photo op. Such a cool entranceway. Look at the torches. Welcome to Jurassic Quest. Jurassic Quest is visiting Miami, Florida, and I wasn't going to miss this for anything. Let's check it out together, huh? That is extremely cool. Look at him blinking. I decided to take the free tour, and at first there were like five people. It's turned into a huge group, so let's see what we can hear and see of the tour, because it is packed. Yep. Look at those gigantosaurus jaws. Chomp. So close. Oh. Oh. The apatosaurus up here pops down to say hello every once in a while and gets really close. Don't touch, but definitely look. I think it's really close. We start in the Triassic Age. Apex predator during the Triassic era. Now you may not know this, but dinosaur hip bones are actually very important. In fact, dinosaurs are broken into two groups right now based solely upon their hip bone formation. There are the ornithischians and the saurischians, or the bird hip and the lizard hip. Bird and the lizard hips. Ooh, he has both. One interesting tidbit we learned on the tour is that in the movie Jurassic Park, they make velociraptors look like they're about this size, very, very large. In actuality, velociraptors were about the size of a large turkey, this size. And apparently, they had feathers. One thing they got sort of right in Jurassic Park was making velociraptors very intelligent. They were very intelligent for dinosaurs. Of course, not that intelligent. Movie magic and all. Because in the movie, they made their Velociraptor the size of this Dakota Raptor. This is a Titanoceratops. Titanoceratops, mighty impressive. This is a really great tour that I highly recommend. I definitely can't film the whole tour because first of all, I don't want to give it all away and second of all, there's just too much noise in here and you won't be able to hear it. But I recommend if you visit Jurassic Quest, do the free tour. It's awesome and funny, very informative. One thing I really like about the tour is the tour guide is talking about the differences between things shown in media and movies like Jurassic Park and the reality of what we know as far as where research stands right now. I keep kind of losing the tour group because it's so large, but I'll keep catching back up with them and finding out little tidbits. Watch your head. Dino tails everywhere. Okay, we've cut back up with the tour. Quetzal Colossus, the largest living thing that has ever taken flight that we know of. Fascinating. And look at those wings. The tour guide is asking the crowd how much they think it weighs. Ah, about 600 pounds. Wow. Dinosaur butts and dinosaur tails. A Tylosaurus forager from the late Cretaceous period. This would have been found in the central USA and Canada. And uh, looks like he's coming right out of the water. And if that last name sounds like something from a Harry Potter novel, that's because he was named after things in a Harry Potter novel. We just learned a few cool facts about the Pachycephalosaurus. 
There's a few debates among paleontologists about this dinosaur and the function of the bump on its head, whether it was for headbutting other dinosaurs or maybe hitting the soft tissue of their body. Also, there's a debate about the teeth. There's 12 teeth in there that there's a question about and are compared to camels. If you want to know more about the paleontological debates surrounding the Pachycephalosaurus, take the tour or do some research online. Having 90% of Sears bones has told us a lot about what Sears life was like. And basically what we have learned is that Sue had a terrible life. Disney stepped in. The Disney offered $4 million to the field museum to buy Sue. To museum quality ready to spread. In fact, a lot of the work was actually done on Disney property at the Disney Animal Kingdom in Orlando, and the public can go in and watch the paleontologists working on Sue. So this is Sue. I am so glad that I opted for the free tour. Park Ranger Marty is awesome. He's so cool, and he did a really, really great job because this is fun. This is immersive, and he kept it fun, but also made it educational and gave you some of the information that puts all of this in context. So I really, really recommend you do the tour, especially if you or your kids or the kids that are with you are really into dinosaurs. UT Rennes Hawali, early Cretaceous period. Listen to that roar. Very cool. And it's covered in what appears to be fur. Volcanoosaurus. Wow. A Dilophosaurus weather really early Jurassic period. Arizona. Look at those eyes. Look at them blinking. Growling in the corner over here. We have the Pterodactylus. Gotta love the tails whapping around. Next to each dinosaur are these banners full of interesting information and fun facts. The thumb spike is one of the best known features of Iguanodon. <gasps> That's not our dino! Iguanodon! Of course, T-Rex remains the star of the show, the photo op galore, the first dino you see right when you walk in. The largest and most impressive. Gotta love Sue. Triceratops. Very popular and beloved dinosaur. Eurapter lumensis. Desmacetus haploceris. If you're a dinosaur enthusiast, forgive my pronunciation and help me out in the comments below. I really think that Jurassic Quest is a dinosaur enthusiast's dream come true. And just anyone who likes really cool, immersive exhibits, nature, science, fun, something different, something really cool to do with the family, you are gonna love this. In fact, I really can't imagine anyone attending this and not having a good time. I think this is really a universal fun thing. Totally worth the 20 bucks. Bipatosaurus inexpectus. So many of these names sound like spells from Harry Potter. I love it. Sangariptus Way. That's a cool name. That beautiful coloring. More activities. As hard as it is to walk away from the animatronic dinosaurs, I'm gonna check out the more activities section and see what's going on. Of course, we have food. Very important. Lots of soda machines, part of the fairground. Now most of these activities do look like they're for kids, so this is a great family-friendly exhibit. I'm not gonna get in the way of kids doing these, but I'll show them to you guys so that you have an idea of what's here. So there's a science station, and it looks like kids are doing little projects over here. It looks really fun. Get a new cup, da 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 da, -da. And then you get a little, uh, a little fossil to take with you. And you get your very own fossil to take home with you. Here we've got the excavation station. There's arts and crafts areas, coloring, and there's a dig site for kids. 
and the kids are having a great time. They love it. You can have photos taken. And that's what they look like. So it's $10 for these cool green screen photos and this is what they look like. And they are really cool. I don't think I'll be spending $10 on that today, but it does seem like a really fun thing to do. More activities! Wow, there's a whole other side to this. Oh my goodness! There's a huge line to get to ride those dinos. I am not getting in this line, but this is pretty cool looking. So the other side of the exhibit seems to be a lot like a big blow up area for kids to play in. And some shows going on with really loud music, so it's really hard to get good audio in here. So here's an area where kids can ride the dinos. How cool is that? Now, if these weren't just for kids, I'd be all over those dinos. Even though I'm a kid at heart, these are for kids. So, alas, I can't ride a dino. Before we go, T-Rex, do you have anything to say to the people? Yeah, that was, that was deep. That was profound. I want you to think about that, people. Take that to heart. Take that thought with you and run with it. Really think about it. You know, I had such a great time at Jurassic Quest here at the Miami-Dade County Fairground. If Jurassic Quest comes to your city, I highly recommend it. Two thumbs up, two T-Rex arms up. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I've got fun weekly adventures for you. Conventions, theme parks, historic sites, cool, quirky, off the beaten path events and activities that I love to document and share with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this trip back in time to hang out with the dinosaurs. I know I did. Do you like dinosaurs? Do you have any cool dinosaur facts you'd like to add in? If Jurassic Quest visits your city, would you be interested? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you again as always, and until next time, stay Jurassic. Hi Jurassic Quest!